Thank you all for gathering here in this moment of national pain. I want to thank Premier Kenny and Mayor Iverson and the organizers of the event, including the University of Alberta. I want to thank all of you who came out to show your support and care for the families and for the entire community. And I want to thank the families and friends of those we lost for being here this afternoon to allow us all to be with you and share our love for you in this time of deep, unimaginable, personal grief. Across this great country, we stand united together in this time of sorrow. All Canadians were heartbroken to hear that Ukrainian International Airlines Flight 752 had crashed. All Canadians were shocked and outraged to learn that it had been brought down by an Iranian missile. This tragedy struck our Iranian-Canadian community, leaving cities like Edmonton reeling. But this was truly a Canadian tragedy. All Canadians are mourning your loss. I had a chance to meet with some families over the course of the past few days. And to be perfectly honest with you, I wish I could adequately share with you what I was privileged to hear. Sitting with these families while they talked about their loved ones, learning who they were, what they loved to do, what their plans were for the future, was gut-wrenching. A husband who'd lost his wife and son, a vibrant 10-year-old who was confident he'd one day be prime minister of this country he loved so much. The extended family of a man who scrabbled and studied to realize his dream of going from being a successful dentist in Iran to starting a new practice here in Canada. Over the past few years, he had to return regularly to Iran for months at a time to work to pay for his courses here in Canada while his young family missed him dearly. He received his qualifications only weeks ago. and was finally coming here for good, to build the best possible future for his kids, except that he was on that flight. And now his family has no idea what their future holds without him. Friends, colleagues, professors, and students here at the U of A grappling to make sense of the brilliant minds taken from us, the careers of knowledge and teaching and innovation cut tragically short. A devoted dad, raising his teenage son on his own, bewildered about what life means now that his boy was taken from him. Family after family, mourning the loss of a loved one who was not just shaping their own lives, but building this country. Every single one of those 57 stories, those 138 stories, those 176 stories, was one of hope, of strength, of confidence, in a better future, a future we all share that is now diminished. 176 lives were extinguished in the space of a few minutes last Wednesday morning, but countless more victims all around the world, all across Canada, will suffer for years to come. Children, parents, siblings, friends, partners, who will now have to rebuild their lives after immeasurable loss. You may feel unbearably lonely, but you are not alone. 
Your entire country stands with you tonight, tomorrow, and in all the years to come. We will build that future they all dreamed of together. That's what Canada is. Lorsque le vol 752 a été abattu, les familles ont perdu ceux qu'ils aimaient et notre pays a perdu leur contribution. C'est une tragédie nationale. Le pays entier est en deuil. While no words can ease the pain, the grief, the outrage, it is my sincere hope that you can find some comfort in knowing that all Canadians stand with you. That is what makes us strong. I am so deeply sorry for your loss. This tragedy should never have occurred, and I want to assure you that you have my full support during this extraordinarily difficult time. But I also want you to know how grateful we are for you who are still with us. I want you to know that in your darkest moment and ours, you give us strength to stand together as a nation. You give us purpose to pursue justice and accountability for you. We will continue to work with our partners to ensure that a full, transparent investigation is conducted. I want to assure all families and all Canadians, we will not rest until there are answers. We will not rest until there is justice and accountability. Merci.